tear all this junk apart, baby, and then all you'll see me doing is rinsing. Because what I got to do after I get this apart is to do basically do something like this. This from the top piece, what you do is you turn it surf side down and kind of rinse, rosh, rinse, rosh, rinse, rosh. And shake, 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 shake it. And you should have a black screen. Now this is indoor outdoor carpet. Most folks use a uh, miner's moss, which is actually in the bottom sluice. Um, but it's it's a different thing. Working on a budget. All right. Okay. You gonna film this too? Yep. All right. So we pull the nail. Pull the nail, pull the nail, put that in the hard, hardware, expanded metal, and then I roll, roll up my carpet. But what I like to do also I'll show you here in a second. I believe stuff falls through the carpet. I'm gonna set the carpet right here for right a second. And then, see all that? There's stuff still in there, so. We could have some fun. Here in Georgia, we got a lot of flower gold. I don't wanna lose any of it, because if you knew what it took to get it out of Georgia Creek, You'd want it all too. All right, there's that. And then what we do is take our indoor, outdoor. This one's fun. I can tell that this uh, con this uh, pay dirt comes close from the ocean. But not only that clamshell, but I almost swear I smell the ocean. Maybe we need to go on a vacation, honey. Okay. Maybe there'll be enough gold in here we can go on a vacation. <laughs> You can always hope, but this is how I do this with my homemade kit. That should be good enough, and we'll put that up, knock out this last tray. <clears throat> As you can see, most all the heavies were in the top, and this is uh, pretty much all we got. So I guess the longer the sluice, the more the catchings. And once again, I'm going to rinse. Not my face. Hmm. Alright. That should be good. Take it apart. The way this sluice box comes apart is by some snaps. Everything just kind of lifts it up and comes apart. You got your miner's moss. Do that. Same with this piece here. I don't worry about putting it back together until I'm done. We'll do that tomorrow. Do a good rinse on the rubber mat. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take either this one or another one I've got. This would be a finer strainer. This is just simply a five gallon bucket that I converted into a strainer. That's window screen. And it's my little finer strainer. This is, when I'm in the creek, I use this to break. This is kind of like the wash plant. Then this is the finer strainer. But today we're, we're gonna, we're gonna use my other strainer. And uh, that way we'll get down to some good stuff. So we'll get back to you here in a second. 